The Arabian Desert is the largest desert in Asia and I'm about to hitchhike within it. I'll be going from the town of Tabuk in Saudi Arabia to Aqaba in Jordan. It's a distance of nearly 300 kilometers, but will anyone stop? I've never hitchhiked before and I don't speak much Arabic. Let's see how friendly the locals are. Alrighty, so I just arrived on the side of the road and I'm going to attempt to, uh, to hitchhike to Jordan. And I just got an Uber in to this gas station. And the Uber driver, 20 year old guy, so friendly. He was like, oh, you sure you should do this? Take my number if you need anything. Like here, take some water. I don't know, I'm just, I feel really confident about it. Yeah. Salam Alaikum. Salam. Get this is my first hitchhiking. It took less than 10 minutes and these guys are absolute legends. Shukran. And Afu. Shukran Habibi. I love you too. Ah, this guy. What a charm. How are you? How are you? We're not safe. We're not safe. Yes. That was interesting. Um, they were going incredibly fast, about 160k an hour. You know what's more, people were overtaking them. They were super friendly, super nice. Um, if I'm completely honest with myself, I do feel a bit nervous having done that for the first time. Um, I'm in the middle of the Arabian desert right now. <sighs> Never done this before. Um, but so many people do this. I'm in a town called Ben Ira. Uh, I've got another two and a half hours to go. Well, We'll see how we go. They seem nice. They were always, they kept doing Snapchats and sending things to their friends and stuff. So. So I'm driving with a military officer, so he doesn't want me to record him, which is completely obviously okay. But look behind me, this is fucking beautiful. This is gorgeous. You can see the desert there. Then the desert here. This is one of the most beautiful drives I've ever, ever been on. This guy is a much better driver. He's following the speed limit. But, uh, I feel comfortable with him. Alrighty, well that really nice military officer who um, picked me up, dropped me off here. And I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Thankfully I've got internet reception. The Arabian Desert, I guess. This has been the most beautiful drive. Midday. Six, seven hours to go of daylight. Hopefully only two hours till um, driving time till I get there. I felt much more comfortable with him. He wasn't speeding, he wasn't, I don't know. Other guys were lovely, but I didn't feel the safest. So, this way? Ah, shukran. <laughs> that truck driver just uh, basically asked if I wanted to come with him. Like, I must look like an idiot standing in the middle of nowhere, but I don't know, I, I loved that drive, that was, freaking gorgeous and yeah so we'll see what happens see if someone stops me obviously very happy for this man because i was starting to think no one would pick me up everyone kept giving me these looks and they weren't bad looks but they weren't happy looks but shukran habibi he's gonna go close to jordan so we'll see how we go no i speak english <laughs> no speak arabi i don't know buddy shwee arabi shwee <laughs> uh my name is danielle my name is haytham haytham ah Thank you very much. Oh. Very grateful. And this is a very comfortable vehicle. Daniel? Daniel. Daniel Navas. Getting Snapchatted. That's cool. <laughs> I got Snap Snap. Snap Snap. Everyone uses Snapchat over here. It's good. I like it. <laughs> the other guys also did this. <laughs> so Hayton was telling me that we are actually driving through the city of Neon which is this crazy project the Saudi government wants to like set up where they're building all this insane infrastructure. I'll put some stuff on the screen, you should look it up. And he said the line is about 100 kilometers from here. And the line is this massive, insane future thing. The line. It, it, says, it says the line. That's, this is as like an engineer or ex-engineer, that's crazy. I'm gonna zoom in on that. And he was just saying that he's actually working on the, like the neon projects, like the line. This is this is his no, the line hard hat. So he showed me some photos of the the construction site. That's insane. yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Shukran Habibi. Ah, ah, this guy is building the future of Saudi Arabia. This is this is really cool. All right, that guy was really nice. He's just dropped me off under this bridge, which is right next to his turn off. 
It's not the best spot, honestly. Um, I need to think about how to get somewhere safer. A really friendly guy, we use Translate the entire time to talk. He Snapchatted our experience. But yeah, I need to get off there. He just honked at me. I need to, I need to find a better place. Yeah, so we went back and forth that, with that guy. He asked me a lot about my culture. He's Yemeni, which is super interesting. He's been here a year. He's working on a construction site as a truck driver. Really interested in Australia. There's a car coming, I'll try and... This is not a great spot. I'm like, uh, the bridge isn't important, but I don't know. I haven't done this before. <laughs> Wish me luck. So that was hot waiting in the sun. And that really nice driver dropped me off probably in one of the worst spots. People kept honking at me going, why are you on the side of the highway? But thankfully this amazing DHL driver uh, is currently taking me now. We've been going for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. And he's gonna get me very close to the border. So I think I'll be able to make it. This is the fourth car. I reckon one or two more. So as long as I get there before sunset, I'm gonna be happy. I hack it, you can play with it here. I keep saying it, but Christ, it's beautiful. Alrighty, so in front of us is the Red Sea, and I can feel Jordan getting closer. <laughs> I don't know why I thought hitchhiking would be a good idea. Uh, Character building, right? <laughs> so we are very close to Jordan now, and that land across the water, well that's the Red Sea, and then across is Egypt. So this is potentially where Moses crossed the water. I'm no biblical scholar, but how fucking cool is that? This is very different to the rest of Saudi. It's a remote area. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, that really nice Filipino DHL driver took me to the town of Hakol. I can see the Red Sea from here, which is amazing. I can see Egypt and I can almost, or I think actually see the border across it. So I need to decide if I want to try and hitchhike from here or just get a taxi to the border. That doesn't get me all the way there. I still need to go to Aqaba. Need to make a decision. I've come this far without taking a taxi, so we'll see. You are the fifth driver to pick me up. Very friendly. You saw me on the road and felt bad for me. Shukran <laughs> Habibi. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And you have amazing English, so I really appreciate that as well. And this is a very beautiful town. Yeah. You gotta take the lift, chair, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> This really generous man just got me a ride to Aqaba, so thank you so much. You're welcome, yeah. Shukran, Habibi. You're welcome, you're welcome. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Habibi. Thank you. Habibi, Habibi. Say Shwee Arabi, huh? Shwee Arabi. Shwee. Arna Badif Arabi. Shwee. My name is Daniel. Your name? No, Abu Mahar. Abu Mahar. Nice to meet you. Allah is it. So very interesting now. That guy, um, people have just seen, he um, yeah, stopped me and he said, oh, I'll just take you to the petrol station so you can get somewhere closer. And then we stopped at the petrol station. People swamped us. They kept trying to charge. Um, or just, they basically said, I'll take you to Aqaba, I'll take you to Aqaba. And I was like, I just want to hitchhike. Um, quoting like 300 rial. Not that it's about the money, I don't. Which 300 rial, call that a little bit less than 100 US. Anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, then he found someone else to go for a hundred real, which I guess is 30, 40 US. And I said, look, I just want to hitchhike. And this guy that's next to me um, for a hundred real, again, maybe 30 US. Anyway, I said, I, I just want to hitchhike. But he, he insisted, he forced the money into this guy's hand. And I tried to fight and argue and say, don't do it. And he paid him and he said, don't worry about it. Uh, I said, what's this about? He said, look, doing it for Allah. And really kind. I arrived in Aqaba, Jordan, and I found myself in the most beautiful room. I mean, look out this window. Right on the Red Sea, private room. What did it cost me? 20 US dollars. I was gonna go with dorm to save money, but the guy just took me here and told me the price. And I said, look, mate, I'm not gonna complain. That was exhausting and I haven't eaten because I've been eating because Ramadan. I'm gonna go sleep until I can eat. Thanks for watching. 
I've been traveling the world for over a year. I'm currently in Iraq, so follow to stay up to date with my travels. Cheers.